Hi Leos, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm gonna be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm gonna pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight at the end of your reading. I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person from the Hidden Truth Oracle deck. Now these might be things that you might wanna hear, things you might not wanna hear, and answers to questions you possibly have, we will get that at the end. This is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have haven't already subscribed to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read now with that being said we're gonna go ahead and jump right in the person on Leo's oh sorry my cats <laughs> she's on top of her cat shelf and like she was eating her treat and it fell so it just distracted me I'm like what was that um, person on Leo's mind show me what they're hiding from Leo please person on Leo's mind show me what they're hiding from Leo. Ooh, Leo, this person wants a second chance with you. Um, so this is someone you're not with. Um, this person does intend on showing up very quickly, whether this does feel like they're going to actually show up, maybe with flowers or an apology or, you know, try to reconcile. But this person has intentions of trying to have a second chance with you they are very sad about whatever happened between the two of you and they really want what they used to have with you which looks like you two were in a relationship um and this could be love for some of you it doesn't all always have to be love for everybody so take it as it would apply to your situation some of you might be a friendship a family member it could be even a, a job you know you were this person's security foundation home and um so the judgment card five of cups four of wands and the chariot at the bottom of the deck so scorpio energy i also have a cancer uh aries and a little bit more of scorpio that comes out we're gonna go ahead and clarify the judgment card so wanting a second chance feeling sad missing you uh, wanting a relationship and they've been like really focused on this is what I want so let's go ahead and clarify that judgment card the ace of pentacles so they want a second chance to start over at a brand new beginning okay no bs so queen of swords that's also this person um knows that if they show up you're not going to they're like I know that if you give me a chance Leo I know that you um, are not going to take any crap from me. I know that you're not going to put up with any kind of lies or if I um, can't be there for you. So if there's any kind of inconsistency, you will completely cut this person off and never talk to them again. They do understand that and they're ready to hear what you have to say. They understand as this queen of swords that you will be sharp with your words. You will speak your mind, your truths, and they're willing to face the judgment so they can have a new beginning with you and try very sad they don't like how things ended between the two of you um there's a lot of disappointment and they don't even want anybody else so other people offering them you know support love whatever this person really is sad now maybe this is something where you're like good they deserved it they need to reflect on this um so you know that's it's okay to feel the way that you feel um through the situation this is just what they're hiding from you now i do have uh, aquarius and libra energy that comes out also a little bit of taurus um capricorn and virgo so let's go ahead and clarify this five of cups here the two no, sorry, 10 of wands. Yeah, they have definitely been carrying around this heavy weight for quite some time. Um, it does feel like um, the disappointment, the sadness, and you know this depression they've been carrying around for some time. Missing you, they, um, they miss the love and the support and the nurturing that you gave them, the understanding, the way that you were so loving to them, the way that you cared for this person. Um, they really miss that but now like I said that doesn't mean you're gonna necessarily give this person a second chance however you know because everybody's going through something different it doesn't have to be love like I said this could be 
<clears throat> a friendship. This is a relationship that was very important at one time and whatever happened between the two of you, it was a big falling out um, because it does feel like this person with that 10 of wands has been carrying this for, whew, I don't know, some of you, it feels like 10 years. Like this is somebody you haven't talked to in a long, long time. It doesn't have to be 10 years. It could be 10 weeks. It could be 10 days that they're missing you. It could be 10 months, you know. Um, sorry, didn't mean to tap that like that. But the fact of the matter is, is this person realizes that they feel lost without you and sad without you and it's a heaviness and they didn't realize it at the time or they took your kindness for weakness or they like they took your generosity for granted and they didn't appreciate it when they had it or whatever happened between the two of you um they just want it back so that's up to you of course so let's see uh virgo and taurus energy a little bit of sagittarius we're going to clarify that four of wands the six of cups um as well as the three of cups so this person wants a relationship they want to restore this relationship um with that four of wands and they want it to be like it was before like leo i really miss you you know we have so many memories that we made together this that and the other wanting to reconcile really like wanting to fix things can we please do this this person does plan on showing up let's see what they're holding back from telling you though because even though they're feeling this there could be something else that they don't share with you when they do show up and when you question them on it they're going to be kind of stunned like what how'd you know that so let's go ahead and get three messages plus one bonus message from this person on leo's mind Uh, all I can say, Leo, is this person really realizes that they messed up and everything between the two of you is so damaged um, that it has been really hard for this person. I don't know if it's lately that it's been hard for this person or they just constantly keep thinking of you because they want to start over, really show you that they will take full responsibility and work really hard um, to earn your trust and be very open with you because they, you know, they want what they had in the past, but I'm going to say it like this, Leo, um, just because y'all had just, you know, whatever you had in the past, um, a relationship that was really good doesn't mean that it will be the same going forward. So I'm not sure if this person is really stuck in the past. Like I want it how it used to be. Um, things change, especially whenever you have falling out. Yeah. So, but it doesn't mean that you can't start over and see what happens. It's just this person is really set on what you two used to have, the relationship you used to have, the past is the past, and moving forward, you might be a different person now. You might have different wants and needs, and um, you know, it's just, you know, it's nice for them to miss you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I want to feel that way again. This person wants to feel the way they used to feel with you. Um, like I said, they're really holding on to the memories you two made, um, the life you had together, the relationship that you had together. Like I said, it doesn't always have to be romantic. And so whatever for some of you, it does feel like a friend or a family member and not so much a a love situation in that way but i know that there's a you are dealing with somebody who um has a lot or had a lot of love for you and you were in a romantic relationship also i have a lot more scorpio energy that came out what was out at the bottom of the deck so we have the three of cups and so a little bit of um cancer energy there i can't stop thinking about you so this person is constantly thinking about you you're constantly on their mind um i feel that they have dreams about you it really distracts them from work they can't get things done they have felt maybe you're like good i guess i keep hearing good good they need to reflect on this good um so you know i don't know what happened in everybody's situation i'm just reading cards but i know you feel the way you feel and, and you have every right to your feelings and your opinions and you know 
especially in whatever situation happened here. My life is not as together as it seems. And that does feel like because you are absent from their life and they are having a really tough time and they feel that you would make their life better or having you back in their life. They, Leah, why do I get the feeling that you would encourage this person as well when they felt low or they didn't really believe a lot in themselves um, at times or they just, you know, were having a rough time? You built this person back up to feel better. And, you know, when their life is not feeling, you know, their life is not as together, it seems it also feels like they've hit rock bottom. And they're like, Leo used to know the answer to everything. Leo used to be my rock. Um, I know that I crossed the line with you and absolutely they do. They will come back. Just prepare Leo. It could be, um, from a number you don't know, a message from a number you don't know, or an account you don't know. Um, they could also show up if they know where you live, where you work. This person, I feels like more so at your home is where they would go to, um, knocking at your door because, this person realizes they not just crossed a line, this feels very like they really crossed a line with you. And this is why you feel the way that you feel, even if it's not a romantic situation for some of you, whoever this is that was important in your life, they really crossed a line with you and they really hurt you. And they're now reflecting on that. They realize that and you know, whether you choose to give them a second chance or not is completely up to you. Um, but they're actually realizing what they did. And I feel like when this all happened, they didn't, they were very one-sided, like it's my way or the highway. Um, I want to be more than friends. So for those of you that, um, this is a romantic situation, uh, this comes out as, you know, I don't want to just, I can't just be your friend, Leo. We can't just be friends. We need to be together. That's completely up to you. I'm not going to say anything because I almost want to say, do you, um, do you need to be together? Because Leo, I get that you're doing well. I feel that you are trying to move forward, um, with your life and trying to build, rebuild yourself after a very difficult situation. And this person is now reflecting on what happened and, and <clears throat> the situation between the two of you. But completely up to you. Sorry, I keep, like, I can't not get my words out. I just feel like I can, I'm going to cough. Sorry about that. So this is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, and I will see you in your next reading. Also, thank you everybody for waiting so patiently. I appreciate it. Sorry that your videos got out a little bit later, but I could not put out distorted videos. That would just be horrible. You wouldn't even have a reading that you could listen to. So, uh, appreciate you have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye.